Hello and welcome to the Nasty Nail Tech YouTube channel. I am the Nasty Nail Tech Nail Enthusiast and I thank you for stopping by my channel. I know that you have a choice of many other channels and I appreciate you stopping by here. So today I am going to redesign my hands my nails on my right hand so I am using my non-dominant hand which is my left and I'm going to remove this polish these nails I put on as a, a prey dupe so I put them on with clear hard gel is how I pressed them on and they were very sturdy they looked absolutely fabulous and the ones on my left hand I actually use po a colored poly gel to do that dupe and I use clear nails on both hands and so now I'm going to do a feel on these nails and I'm just starting with taking the polish off. In reality, I didn't need to do a feel. And when I look underneath my nails, I can see that my nails have grown out. But when I look at my cuticle, there is not a lot of space there to show the growth. Um, I'm not sure why that is. This is my first time doing the Prey dupe and putting on press on nails. So... I'm not sure what it is, but I've had these nails on for about two to three weeks. And if nothing else, it's like, well, it's time for me to change the color. And they're a little on the long side for me, so I'm going to shorten my nails as well. So I'm just starting with my Melody Susie's Commander um, Electric E-File. It's cordless, rechargeable, and I have my um, dust nail dust collector on. I forget the name of it, but... It works fine, but I, I need a new filter, and I cannot find any filters on Amazon. And when I contacted the seller, they said they didn't have any of the filters to match this dust collector. So you just see me taking the polish off. This is gel polish I did a design on. I had some crystals on here, and I've already taken those off. Okay, so now my nails, I have removed the polish and i have shortened them and shaped them and i have on my base coat for my poly gel that i'm going to use today i'm going to use my madame glam poly gel and like i said i really didn't have to fill these in but i just want to use my new poly gel so i went ahead and did it because i have very very small um new growth area at the top at the cuticle so there you have it i like this length it's a little more workable for me. And there's my poly gel. I'm just gonna be using this with some slip solution. This poly gel does not come with the slip solution, but I have a slip solution from Gelish, which is the first poly gel to ever purchase. And I just still have it, and so I use that, but you can use um, isopropyl alcohol at 70%. That's totally fine. And I like to start at the cuticle area and just kind of go down the nail with the poly gel. This is only my second time using poly gel. So it's been a minute. The consistency is pretty loose. It is not um, thick or hard to move. And actually I ended up putting too much of the slip solution on here and I made it almost watery, but it's pretty easy to work with. Very easy to work with. Um, and that is pretty much it. At the end of the video, I will show you my completed hand before the top coat. Thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and God bless.